be negative are very stern, very energetic, and very much have a handle on the overall impacts that they have on their own lives. Meaning that people who are be negative tend to be mind over matter when they have to be. They don't get sidetracked easily. It can turn into them missing out on certain things. But also, overall, it means that they can manage to reach the goals that they set for themselves. And they normally set realistic goals for themselves. Now, these goals are sometimes a little bit damped and not out there to making potential the expectation, but more level-headed, more based on experiences or sometimes observing the right people doing what they are setting out to do. And I have recently been asked about, can I relate to people who are blood type B? Yeah, I can, but not as much as I can to the people who are blood type A. And that's just the predisposition where we are predisposed based on our blood types. Why that's the case, I'm not sure, but there were many, um, you see the blood, your blood runs through your whole body and your brain. And there have been tests on pigs recently about how proteins affect uh, their brain activities and the thing is that, you know, when I talk about blood type dating, for example, you need to realize one thing. It's not that everybody, me being a negative, I meet somebody who's a negative that automatically she's right for me. What it means is that we a negatives are more likely to see through each other. It's not a one sided thing. I often attribute it to having a blood type that can donate to your blood type and vice versa. And there is something to that. When I talk about blood type dating, I often say that it's, if, if the man can donate blood to the woman, that means your offspring is likely pretty healthy in terms of not having to deal with the RH or ABO incompatibility issues. But when people see through each other, that's a very good thing because the most, the worst part of life, relationships, partnerships is the lack of communication, the lack of real communication. When there is no real communication, then everything just kind of crumbles, right? I mean, you guys have experienced that probably. Many of you have experienced that. And it's a real thing. I mean, <clears throat> when people don't relate to each other, then you don't know where you're at. So <clears throat> when you have somebody who's A and somebody who's B in a relationship together, you can apply the opposite attract, opposites attract formula and there's something to that because we all have to live in this society so basically if you're with somebody who is completely opposite from you you cannot really understand that person necessarily but if you know the person's on your side it's going to be all right and this person can cover bases that you can't cover and vice versa so i can see how people are often drawn to somebody who's very, very different from them. But my question is also, what has longevity? Because we don't know how much of that is a persona, how much, I, <clears throat> you know, love comes wherever it comes. I mean, I always say that again and again. I give people the option on date by type to look for the partner based on the blood type that they, de they choose. And I know many B negatives with whom I, many I have guessed correctly, meeting them. 
And there is a very opposite predisposition. It's very, very polar opposite to blood type A. We cannot give blood to each other. And I am also, again, mentioning now that your genotype matters as well. Are you B, B or B, O? Most are B, O. There is a difference I've seen between people who are A, O and A, A. And I've been in this long enough to know people who are blood type A, A. That means their genotype is A, A. They have two A alleles. They <coughs> don't have the O recessively. And they are very A. That's the best way I can put it. They are very, very A. The predispositions that A people have, they have them galore. And when the O is lacking, there is something to the overall pattern of that person. Now, I can talk about this forever, and I uh, love to talk about it. And I want to make sure that you guys don't burn out on me. But I appreciate your comments. If your blood type B negative, I want you to tell me, do you know people with blood type O and A negative? How do you view us? You see, I can tell you how I interact with you, what kind of vibes I'm getting, and how, you know, it's not, we are not necessarily meant to figure each other out. I think that's the beauty of it. You see, when an A and, an, and a B have a relationship, um, yeah, it can work amazingly when there's love and when there is a common goal and when there is, you know what I mean? We don't always have to understand each other completely. But what I'm saying is that there are so many misunderstandings in life that people often have the wrong impression of somebody. And then later in relationships, it comes out. So when, an, when I meet somebody who's A negative like me, I know immediately if this can never work out. And that can be that we are in different stages of life. We carry different energies from the way we grew up or whatever, but there's a see-through kind of thing. When there's somebody who's B negative, that's not always visible because there is just a difference. There is like this wall, but it's crumbling. It's very, very, um, uh, you know, I, I, I know the feedback I've gotten from B negatives about my videos before, and they were mostly positive, and there were some disagreements. And I can handle these disagreements. The only thing I cannot handle is when somebody says, uh, assumes that my inability to speak freely means that I don't want to. I do want to. I want to know more about you. But I know how you look through my anger and how all negatives look through my anger. And I think it is very, very important also to realize that the people who are AB are the ones who carry both of our alleles. And how do they work? How do they operate? They can switch. And I think that when an A and a B are in a partnership together, it can work very, very well in terms of having that switch as needed. And when a B and a B are in a partnership together, it probably works, you see, it doesn't happen too much because B is very rare in the Western world. You see, if you go to Pakistan or India, it's plenty, there are plenty of Bs, blood type B people, but not B negatives. B negatives are extremely rare, actually, because not as much as AB negatives, but extremely, but very, very rare because, you know, in uh, the areas where Rh negative people are more frequent, blood type B is a lot less frequent. So once again, I thank you all for watching me and let me know what you're thinking, let me know what you know. And when you do that, I will make sure to address some more things in the future. I will open the comments for you guys. And as always, I love your feedback. You can see my blog at racersnegative.net and firetown.com. And there you can also leave comments. 
to join the dating site for free and see what you may get out of it. Unite, RH Natives. Thank you for watching.